A State Department audit finds that Hillary Clinton broke federal rules by using a private email server while she was working as Secretary of State. So will this cripple her campaign? Here to weigh in for us this morning is Jamu Green. She's the former 2008 Clinton campaign advisor, and she's also a Fox News contributor. Good morning, Jamu. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. So what do you think that this means for Hillary Clinton and the election? Well, I, I think that we've uh, taken one more step to putting this uh, incident behind us, uh, both the Clinton campaign and voters who want to be focusing on the issues that affect them and their pocketbooks and, and their desire to be able to pay for their kids to go to college. But look, I don't think there's anything new that this report revealed. Uh, I think this boils down to, Heather, that Hillary Clinton made an innocent mistake. There was no malicious uh, intent. Mo, it's, Heather now, it's Heather Nauert here. Good morning to you. It shows Good that morning, she Heather. broke the rules. How do you say that that is simply an innocent mistake? We know that classified information was transferred within that email server and on those private emails. Well, I, I don't think there was any malicious intent with uh, the series of events that led to this. And when the Department of Justice report does come out, we, we will see uh, that the you know, dire impact of this uh, that some want, uh, her political enemies want, is just not going to be there. But Jamu, uh, she does know and knew at the time that there had been an attempt to hack the server mm -hmm. on several different occasions. And then back in November of, what, 2010, she was told we should perhaps move this over to a state server, and she expressed concern at the risk of her personal emails and those becoming accessible. So she knew that this was not protocol. Well, I, I think that when you look at probably the person who uh, has been the most scrutinized politician in our lifetime, maybe in anyone's lifetime, I can understand not wanting to have uh, her personal email uh, potentially be accessible. Now, again, it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. Was there malicious intent behind it? No. Is this the issue that voters want to be focused on? Is this what they want us to be talking about heading into November? I think absolutely mm -hmm. not. We well, need to get through it. The DOJ report needs to come out, and I think that will further vindicate uh, and help us move on from this situation. Okay, so, Jamu, you say the voters don't care about this, but voters don't trust Hillary Clinton. Let's look at a recent Fox News poll that was released uh, just a few days ago. The question is, is Hillary Clinton honest and trustworthy? Now, yes, 31 percent. No, 66 percent. That's up 2 percent from March and up... Uh, also from uh, January as well. How do you react to that? Voters simply don't trust your candidate. Well, I, I think it's interesting, Heather, that when you look at uh, Hillary Clinton's favorables and, and if voters mm -hmm. trust her, when she's not running for office, those numbers are pretty remarkable. They're pretty high. But when she's running for office or when anyone is running for office, uh, those numbers will change. Now, certainly with Hillary Clinton, it's, it's, it's slightly different. But she's literally running two campaigns right now. She's running against Bernie Sanders and running against Donald Trump. I think once this boils down to two candidates, we will see those numbers change. Jimmy, dramatically, between, especially in comparison to Donald Trump. Yeah, well, within the uh, span of two years, though, uh, the number of people that believe that she's dishonest and untrustworthy from 42 percent to, what, 60-some percent, I mean, that's pretty remarkable. But I want to go back to where you said that it was just simply a mistake. If that's the case, then why would Hillary Clinton and members of her team not agree to be interviewed? If it was simply a mistake, why not be interviewed about it? Well, I think what we've heard from the campaign very clearly is they are participating uh, fully mm -hmm. with the DOJ process. And the State Department Inspector General, whatever his motives were, and, and some have questioned if he has partisan motives, he started running this, uh, this investigation at a parallel track. But... Hillary Clinton has said many well. times, uh, answered many questions, that she will sit down with the Department of Justice. Her aides have sat down with the Department of Justice. The, 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 that's the, down with the, that's Department the of Justice investigation she's sitting participating in. Sitting down with the in. State Department Inspector General, who was appointed by the Obama administration, is entirely another. Jay Mugreen, uh, thanks for joining us. Unfortunately, we have to leave it here. Uh, have a great day. We'll talk to you again real soon.